Thank you for tuning in to my Real Estate Maven channel, my Real Estate Maven online, where live real estate and economics made simple. So this morning, we're very happy and honored to be with us, Dr. Larry Gamboa, who will be sharing with us life-changing questions in this coronified environment later. And later on, also, I will be sharing with you practical tips on how you're going to start your passive income today. Okay, before that, let me share with you Versus for his uh, recap for our last session. Para naman, may review tayo. Good morning, Percy. Good to see Hello. you. Good morning. Good, mor good morning, Mav. Good, mo good morning, Sir Larry. Welcome to the third session. To our viewers, welcome to our third session of Life, Real Estate, and Economics Made Simple. Just a recap from our previous ah, session. Before you recap, you show your shirt. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Your shirt. Yeah. The shirt I'm wearing now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Real estate maven. Yes. <laughs> I got this from one of Mavs Lives event, I think a few years back then. So I'm wearing it now. Okay, now we'll proceed to the recap of our second session. Just to give a glimpse of what transpired then, we discuss what the requirements to be an entry. Um, to be a real estate professional. And we also discussed the tools that we can use as a real estate professional or investor, such as WhatsApp, Track Platter. And there, there were also idea gems that were discussed then. And such as pick one area. If you're going to pursue real estate, you have to pick one area, as discussed by Prof. Eden, then determine the top sellers. And know what? Befriend them. Don't compete with them. It's uh, it's not, um, it's a helping one another. Also, it was also discussed the five P's you need to prepare if you want to sell your property. So some of the five P's: proper mindset, property legal documents, and the professionals you should know. So if you want to know more about what we discuss, then follow our page in Facebook and our YouTube channel. My Real Estate Maven, back to you, Mavs. We'll now move forward to practical tips on how you can start your real estate investing. So habang hinahanap yung sharing, you can tell them persons on how they're gonna get more of Again, our... Again, para dun sa mga viewers natin na hindi na simulan at gusto mapanood pa yung previous episode, First guest natin, Dr. Sam Lau, President ng Pareb. Then, second guest natin, si Prof. Eden, Real Estate Consultant, Broker Appraiser. So, napakadaming value bumps na mga shiner nila. So, just follow our Facebook page and YouTube channel at My Real Estate Maven. So, we can start with our practical tips on how you can earn passive income today. You can start Today, with money or without money. Alam mo ba yun, persons? But let me tell you how. You can start money today with or without money. Ayan. We will start with simple example to complex, no? To start your passive income. So, but before that, before that, let me share with you some simple land economics. Ayan. Land, land economics muna tayo para. Total gross area ng Pilipinas. Di ba? Alam mo ba? Versus ko ilan? Anyway, so... Wala. Hayaan mo na. Pero it's 299,681 square kilometer. In short, para in layman's term, ka, almost kasi laki tayo ng Italy. No? So, kaya may chance kung hindi tayo mag stay home at hindi tayo susunod sa mga batas sa loob ng bahay. <laughs> Mabata sa loob ng bahay. ba? Diba? So, let's, ano, um, um, let's pray na na ma-contain ma natin ang ating virus dito sa Pilipinas. So, anyway, kasi nakita na almost sa Italy, larger than, a uh, little larger than New Zealand. Ayan. So, ganun yung size natin. So, why I'm saying that? Our population is, to date, is around 109 109 million na tayo. Basically, 
ganon yung area natin dito sa Pilipinas. But um, we have to understand also, kaya I support yung Balik Probinsya Program o naging ano na tayo, Balik Probinsya Program na ating government. It's because in Metro Manila alone, di ba? In Metro Manila, based on statistics, um, statistics to, meaning yung recorded, we have thir- 13 million, di ba? 13 million yung recorded or almost 14 million people in Metro Manila alone. E ang size lang ng Metro Manila is around 619 square kilometer. So, napakaliit niya. Diba? Um, para sa ganun karaming tao. Uh, in short, there's a lot of opportunity of real estate sa mararaming tao. Yung density na, na highly dense cities. No? Especially tayo dito in Metro Manila. But of course, there's growing cities. Diba? Uh, in provinces, Cebu, Dabao, diba, Iloilo. So, these are now being, ano, um, kumakapal na yung tao dyan. Yan yung ibig sabihin ng density. No? But to cut the long story short, basta maraming tao, may opportunity in real estate. Why did I say that? Diba? Para for you to understand na wherever you are here in the Philippines, diba, there's an opportunity. So, wala ka dapat dahilan uh, not to start uh, real estate investing, not to start to have your own real estate passive income. So depending on your financial capacity, you can choose the amount of work you want to uh, to do to earn passive income. Diba? Ayan. So I discussed the population. Ayan. There are a lot of opportunities in real estate in highly dense cities. Maraming tao, maraming real estate opportunities. So let's start sa practical tips, no? on how you're going to start with your uh, passive income. So start with double decks. No? I, I'm sure um, a lot of you know, uh, some of you know uh, uh, my story. You know, we don't have our own house. We, we, we transferred houses for more than 20 years and more than 15 times in the span of that years. So for many years, we've been renting. Kasi sabihin mo, how can I start Mavs since we rent lang kami, no? ng bahay, no? And our house is small, no? So, kami, family namin, we've been renting for many years. We're renting small house. We're a family of six. My brother, my brother, my brothers and I are sleeping in a double deck, no? While my parents, sila naman, naka, nasa another bedroom, no? Ang divider namin is curtain. Um, so, bawat hinga, bawat hilik, dinig, di ba? So, but it didn't stop us, no? Our double deck is our first passive income. I slept alone in our first floor ng double deck sa baba. The second floor naman, yung ng double deck, yung mga brothers ko. So, I literally have, I literally have an extra bed space beside me. Diba? So, meron akong pwedeng parentahan, no? I have it rented to my college best friend. Hi, Lara. No, for a thousand pesos that time during my college day, no. So I think she lived with us for more than a, uh, for almost a year, no. So with that pursuit, may problema ka pa? May problema ka pa on how you're going to start your passive income? Yeah. So of course, there's a lot of pros and cons of that. But what I'm trying to say is that you can start, no, literally. Yes. Diba? So, wala, wala uh, kahit maliit yung space mo, no? But there's a pros and cons, no? For example, maraming pros for me, no? Number one, I'm happily living with my best friend that time. Number two, hindi ako masyado mapagalitan ng parents ko kasi may bisita kami, diba? And number three, I can go out uh, kahit gabihin kasi kasama ko yung uh, best friend ko. Magka- magkasama naman kaming dalawa. So, tips yan to young adults and college students, no? So, magparenta kayo ng space nyo, di ba? So, yung literally beside it. So, start with double decks. So, yun yung pinaka mahaba ko nang sasabihin. <laughs> so, if we can start with double decks, you can also have an extra room for rent, di ba? Kung may, you're living in a two-bedroom house, three-bedroom house, kids can 
come together in one room, yung extra room nyo, pwede nyo paupahan, di ba? So, it, it should not stop you kung talagang gusto ninyo mag-add ng income. And then, uh, especially if you are in a, in a uh, nearby cities, mga one ride lang to uh, BGC, to Makati, or to Sulbu Hospital, to, uh, to Dabao, uh, SM Dabao, ganyan, mga one ride, one ride lang. So, your room can be open for rent, di ba? Parking space, no? Parking space can be your passive income, di ba? Uh, kung may kotse ka and it's being a liability to you, ibenta mo na yan, di ba? Paupahan mo na lang yung parking space mo. At kung wala ka namang kotse at may extra space sa harap nyo, mara, ay mahal, hindi ka siya yung isang, isang car sa harapan ng bahay namin. Motorcycle, di ba? Why not have it? Maraming nagmamotor ngayon. If you are near or yung kapitbahay nyo, wala silang uh, parking space ng motor. Di ba? Or there's so many ways. So, kung yung isang parking lot, kasha mga tatlo, apat na motor siguro yan. Di ba? So, yun. Um, another practical tip, sari-sari store, space for rent. Yung harapan ng bahay mo o yung gilid ng bahay mo kung ayaw mong mag-sari-sari store, you have it rented with others. Di ba? Uh, that's passive income. You have, don't have to do anything. May nag, nakakatulong ka na na may nagtitinda sa harapan ng bahay mo. Di ba? And then, or uh, anything yung harapan ng bahay mo, nasa tabi ka ng kalsada. Especially now that we are in this coronified environment, sabi nga ni Sir Larry. Um, a lot of people are looking for space sa tabi ng kalsada, by the street, di ba? So, kahit ano pa yung nasa harap mo, tanggalin mo muna ng konti ko ano yung mga kalat-kalat dyan. Have it rented. No? You can start by 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. Um, actually, you can start from there. Next, eto medyo complicated. Uh, yung, kung yung mga una, halos wala kang masyadong gagasos eh, sorry, sorry, source space. Eto naman, lease and sublease. Medyo kailangan mong maglabas ng pera. No? Umupa ka ng isang bahay, ng isang malaking bahay, di ba? Pwede yung isang uh, and then, yung isang bahay na yun, lagyan mo ng mga double decks, no? Katulad ng example ko kanina. At per bed, pwede mo siyang paupahan, di ba? Sublease mo, di ba? Make sure lang, alam nung homeowner o nung uh, landlord mo yung gagawin mo. Otherwise, uh, baka hindi mo pa siya uh, nagagawa, nakagastos ka na nakabili rin ng double decks, ayaw pala ng landowner mo. So, again, it boils down to agreements with your, ano, uh, with your landlord. No? Pag- lease and sublease. Umupa ka ng worth, for example, 10,000 na worth ng bahay. Tapos yung 10,000 na bahay na yun, meron siyang two-bedroom. So, yung two-bedroom, pwede mong lagyan ng mga bawat room, apat at uh, tatlong double decks, equal to six beds. So, immediately, meron kang 12 beds. O kaya, apat. Diba? So, paupahan mo siya ng, kung meron kang 12 beds, paupahan mo siya ng, I think, ang bed space ngayon in the cities, around 2,000, 2,500, di ba? So, kung may gina ako sa mat, ano, versus, so, 2,500 times 12, 12 beds, kung mayroon ka 12 beds, mag-compute muna tayo. 30,000? Oh, yung 10,000 mo na upa, meron ka ng um, people. Oo. Meron ka pang matitirang 20,000. Sabihin mo na may matira sa yung 10,000. Isn't it passive income for you? Juicy ka pa, di ba? So, lease and sublease. This is a very good concept. If meron kang konting ipon, let's say mga 50, 60,000, o 100,000, ayan, pwede mong simulan yan. Hanap ka ng bahay na pwede mong paupahan at ipa-bed space mo. Di ba? Especially when you are in the city. Di ba? Ah, five kilometer. Diba? Actually, isang ride, dalawang ride, pwede yan eh. Just a matter of price. Siyempre, pag mas malapit ka sa city, mas mahal yung pa-bed space mo. Pero kung mas malayo ka sa city, dalawang sakay ka, tatlong sakay ka, mas mura yung pa-bed space mo. Di ba? So, 
uh, at important is you can do it, di ba? Kaya ba yan versus is it an, uh, a practical way, di ba? Lease and yes. sublease, umupa at magpaupa, di ba? Gamitin mo ng konti yung konting ipon mo pang down payment, pang bili ng mga beds, di ba? Ayan. Eto, pangit ba? Yero lang, di ba? Yero lang, pero inuupahan niyan. Backyard space for it. Yung likod ng bahay mo. Kay, na malapit ka sa city, malapit ka sa CBT, may space ka pala dyan. Pwede rin niyang upahan na, ng mga contractors. Kailangan nila ng barracks ng mga tao nila. Kailangan nila lagayan ng kanilang mga materials. Or it can be a storage, di ba, ng kanilang mga... Pag room naman, pag room, pag room, uh, kunwari you have a condo, room, actually storage storage room for rent, yung ba kondo, pwede siya pa upahan uh, as a storage. Eh. Kasi, example, you're in the, in the city, uh, may mga restaurants na kailangan nila ng kanilang materials malapit lang na storage, di ba? O kaya, may mga um, iba-iba, mga uh, stores na kailangan nila na, ng storage inside the, the city na hindi na sila kaagad lalabas. Kasi maliit lang yung commercial space nila, di ba? Um, so, pwede mong paupahan yung room mo as a storage or yung background mo as a um, space for uh, warehouse or uh, barracks, di ba? Ayan. Or kung gusto mo pa, dagdagan mo pa, gasto sa mo pa ng konti, lagyan mo ng bubong na maayos, di ba? Lagyan mo ng CR, ayan, room for rent na yan, ganyan, di ba? Ayan, so storage, backyard, or, or room for rent. No? That can be your passive income. Ito naman, medyo uh, mas may, may pera ka na, you have more cash, di ba? And ready ka na to, to build your own um, property for rentals. No? You, can have, um, you, can have, you can build and lease for rentals, apart, rental apartment or hotel. No? So ngayon, hotel... Um, it's not good to do in the next six to eight months. Not 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 yet good to do hotel business yet. No, for uh, kami with Centrum um, with our hotels. No, we we, we can see uh, ourselves. Na we'll be doing the hotel business very soon. No, until may vaccine, of course, and until of course, ang importante aside from the vaccine is the confidence of the tourism uh, to, of the tourist arrivals here in the Philippines. So, but ang maganda is if you can do it as a hotel, diba? or if you can do it as a rental apart, uh, as a Airbnb, diba marami nag airbnb no? uh, ngayon, that I think uh, na-hit din sila of this coronavirus, you can do, you can have it rented for long term, di ba? Um, again, there's a, a lot of opportunity na maraming mag-rent when you are in the cities, di ba? There's Ay, your condo. Ano yun? Uh, share ko lang din. Kasi mm-hmm. dito sa Antipolo, yung may, we have we have hotel here, uh, Leblanc Hotel. So, mm-hmm. I think they're not accepting guests, pero they changed their business model. What they do is they they offered packages as a quarantine a quarantine facilities over 14 days, especially pag OFW uwi ka ganun. Uh, they're offering, I think, for example, for a bed for 14 days, we offer you 25,000. Yes. Yeah. Tapos yes. Ganun. So, Agree. Tama. Uh, buti, buti you pointed uh, out. Mm-mm. Iba yung target market nila, hindi na mga tourist, mga ano na, nagka-quarantine na. Mm, nagka-quarantine na. But again, that business model is temporary while we are having that quarantine. Um, Nest Nano Suites Hotel are also offering that kind of uh, service right now. So, uh, we are we open it to uh, seafarers naman. Diba? But, but, you know, hin- you cannot rely on that because that's just temporary it, it yes. and it is because we are ano, we are abiding the law the bayanihan law um previously ano persons we were closed we closed the hotel because we wanted to protect everybody the guests mm-hmm. and um but because we wanted to share with the bayanihan law to abide with the law na we have to accept yes 
diba? we accepted si Perez. We opened the hotel. But again, it's just temporary. We, we still don't know when it's gonna last, diba? Uh, that business model uh, of accepting quarantine uh, OFWs. But in the long run, in the long run, in the next six months or one year onwards, no, the, uh, the next best is that you can do is to have it rented for long term. So in uh, one year for BPO employees, for mga empleyado, diba? or it can be, again, a bed space diba? or a dormitory diba? uh, na, that it will be rented for long term. Kasi businesses naman are going to uh, rebound. Our expert says that our business is going to rebound immediately. So in the next six months to eight months, businesses are coming in. Office spaces in the CBDs will be taken up again. So ngayon lang yan naka-close. Pero once the economy will be open, businesses will be coming in again. So opportunities will be coming in again. And employment will go up again in the cities. No? Although, syempre, marami talaga mamawal, mamawalan ng trabaho. But still, in the property sector, diba, in rental apartment, diba, you can always have, you can always rely that there will be people who will uh, be renting your uh, unit. No? Kailangan lang ng mga proper for hotels, for rental apartments, pag mara- multiple units ka, kailangan syempre people to get the confidence there should be proper protocols naman. Anyway, so moving forward, no, so build and less rental apartment or make it a hotel. So, but again, in the future, when hotel uh, business is picking up again, surely consider again doing that business also because it gives higher yield compared to rental apartment na long term, di ba? So, yun. Yan. So, next practical tips, eto, eto kailangan nyo rin ng money, of course. Buy and sell for installment or rent to own. It will, it's, it's a bit complicated in the documentation, but it can be done, di ba? Uh, you can buy a property right now, especially that there will be a lot of foreclosures versus uh, listen to this. Uh, there will be a lot of foreclosures in the next coming months, no? And ako, I encourage investors, no? Those who are ready naman to invest, no? I encourage to buy properties uh, uh, of this foreclosure or pre-foreclosure before pa ma-foreclose. May mga lumapit sa inyo. And if you've done the, the due diligence of buying it at... Uh, good deal at, at a good rate, no? Um, so, why not, diba? If it's 40, 30% of the market value, it would be a great deal for you. So, hold it for the next uh, few months or you can sell it for installment, no? Pwede mo siyang parent to own din, diba? Those who are not, uh, those for those who cannot afford bank loan for, for some reasons, they wanted to buy their own property on an installment basis. So, you'll earn passive income on this kasi you'll be getting income from the interest uh, from your installment. Diba? For example, ito very quick, ano lang, very quick example lang on how you're gonna earn. No? Uh, you get a loan of 6% from the bank. For example, you bought it, you bought a foreclosed property. You get a loan from the bank for ten years, six percent interest, and then you have it rent to own. For example, it should be higher. Kami, we've done actually as high as fifteen percent before, pero we've done twelve percent. Yanon. So you get six percent um, premium na from that that alone. So papa papa rent on siya at 12% pero you bought it at 6% interest. So that's the basic idea but we can explain I can explain it more further in the future or you can ask me on a uh, if we have uh, the workshop in the future diba? Or just email me I'll just discuss it further you know. Actually one one good friend of mine uh, akakatuwa ginawa niya to versus na ano uh, advocacy niya, no? nagpaparento on siya, buying foreclosed from pag-ibig, 
'di ba? Pag-ibig, no? Um uh, let's say for example, nag nagbabayad siya sa pag-ibig for 3,000 and then pinaparoon to own niya at um 7,000 to 8,000 a month. So, may mga ganong situation. So, but it needs careful studies of course kasi you will be paying uh, money on that. So, but again, that's passive income, 'di ba? That's passive income. Yeah. So, lastly, ayan. So, without really acquiring a property uh, in itself, you can invest and have passive income to REITs, no? What is REITs, no? Real Estate Investment Trust. No, sa Pilipinas hindi Uh, wala pa tayo no hindi pa um, wala pang company na nag-o-offer no ng real estate investment trust but we already have the law of this that it's like buying a stocks but the company is more focused on real estate no you will earn through dividends ng mga rental ko na for example hotel di ba yung company ng hotel pinasok na sa list yung income from the hotel will be your dividend so you can leverage on that. You don't need to buy the entire uh, unit to get earnings or a uh, commercial or a mall. Diba yung earnings sa commercial mall? Yan, sa Ritz. Sa abroad, meron na, na Ritz, no? Pero we hope, actually ako, I'm so excited for this. Gusto ko uh, sana magkaroon tayo na Ritz because a lot of people will be able to join the real estate uh, investment if we will have this. Kasi you don't need that much capital just like having or investing in the real estate in that stock market um, you can also get passive income through real estate uh, by, by by buying real estate companies in the stock market so example ayala sm diba? there are these are the companies that gives dividends um, uh, through their earnings diba? so yan so yun so to again To recap, um, you can start with your double decks. You can start with your extra room, backyard, diba? or room for storage, parking space. You can buy, uh, build, and lease for rental apartment or hotel, and can buy and sell for installment. Diba? And then, of course, this is paper assets, suites, and Uh, real estate company stocks, diba? So, ay, ito pa pala yung last, no? That I think um, we should all do now, especially, actually, especially now that we are in this uh, environment, no? Uh, digital real property. So, alam nyo, I, I cannot overemphasize this. I'm not an expert of this, but I, I really appreciate this digital real property. Create your own YouTube account. Create your website, di ba? Create your own space, no? That's a real property, no? That in the future, you can leverage on it, di ba? There, you can pour out your expertise, pour out what you love, pour out your business on those digital space, no? In the future, um, you may uh, not know it, but in the future, di ba? Uh, it will be a passive income for you. A lot of uh, YouTubers, di ba, are earning a lot, di ba? So ako, I encourage everyone, no? It's passive, no? Um, it's a channel for you to share your passion, your love, and your business, no? YouTube, websites, di ba? Um, create it. If you don't have it now, baka it's time to do it now, to have your own digital property. Kasi ako, marapan, tagal ko na siya nakikita, pero... Because of this pandemic, ngayon ko lang na-appreciate lalo yung uh, YouTube, yung uh, website of having your own digital property. Diba? Make your business out online. No? You open yourself to the world, not only to your country, to your neighbors, but you open yourself to the world. And you, have, you need to use that channel diba? to speak, diba? to do your business. Yeah, so create your own space, no? Wala namang wala namang tama at mali, 'di ba? You can start now, no? Basta you just do it from your heart, do it from your mind, 'di ba? Pag-aralan mo kung ano yung kailangan. And it will be give you passive income in the future. You study YouTube how to earn online YouTube, 'di ba? Actually, one of the things that I'm doing right now is this one, 'di ba? Uh, I'm creating content in my YouTube and also I ask all my staff Diba, malalaman staff ko, ask them to create a 
uh, YouTube account, no? Uh, for them to, uh, for us to share different aspects of our business, di ba? Digitally, di ba? So, create content now. Ayan. So, for Sus, isn't it hard? It, it's, uh, it's doable. It's doable. It's, it's doable. And is there any reason for you na to start sa dami ng sinabi ko? Sa so, kapaganda sa kanya, and, uh, entry point sa different levels. Eh. Sa, sa pagsisimula, sa may pera na, sa may konting pera, pwede mo. May, may option. Mm-mm, mm-mm. So, wala kang dahilan, di ba? There's no reason for you to just sleep and watch your net- Netflix all day, di ba? Or uh, just to sit and just wait for the next day to come, not to start earning, di ba? You can start earning through real estate in whatever situation that you have right now, is what I believe. Okay? So, yun. You can start today with money or without money. The question is, What are you willing to do to make it happen? Yeah. So, will you be your family's real estate maven? Will you take charge? Will you do it today? Yeah. yeah. So, subscribe to my channel, my real estate maven. Yeah. And learn more about real estate investing. So, where I share with you on how life, real estate, and economics Bade simple. Thank you so much and God bless you all. And with that pursuit, no, I think there's a lot, no, they've learned a lot. Uh, I think and I hope I, I was able to share uh, wisdom to everyone and move everyone into action. I think before we end, yung tagline natin. Yes, and I'm gonna go back. A uh, message that I'd like to share pursuit is that um, with all of this, no. Uh, kaya I wanna share people how uh, to buy properties, to invest in properties because properties in the Philippines, no? Because let's invest in the Philippines. Let's invest, help our economy bounce higher, diba? When you invest in real estate, diba? You're helping the Philippines bounce higher, especially this season that we are going down, diba? We are in our downside of our economy. Remember, this is not just a problema ng Pilipinas. It's a global um, crisis. We're in a global crisis. So, we have to take our part, no? And for us, real estate investors, one last sharing person before I forget kasi gusto ko rin pala. I buy properties before. I We have to uh, buy properties of motivated sellers, those who are really in need because um, uh, we want, number one, we wanted to help them move out of that situation and number two of course to do the business of real estate to earn out of that of course we, 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 we negotiate naman tayo so uh, now I hope our investor they buy they, they will now buy properties in the Philippines uh, to help our economy Parang they have that mindset na I, I want to buy I want to invest no Uh, in the Philippines because I want to help our economy bounce higher. No? Yung simple investment mo sa Pilipinas, akala mo maliit lang, or akala mo just helping because you want to earn passive income. No, you're helping. It's, uh, uh, may multiplier effect yan, may domino effect yan to our economy. Yes, And yes. soon, yes, in our lifetime, we're still young, di ba? We're so, uh, we'll be able to see the first world economy. Diba? Sana and, makita and to natin share, yan. To share, to share din, ano, uh, I remember, kasi uh, naalala ko lang, yung house din namin tinitiran ngayon, uh, may parents bought it to a motivated seller. And wow. it, helps them, it helps them kasi una, makukuha na siya ng bangko. So natulungan namin siyang hindi kunin ng bangko. Then afterwards, um, yung pera na nakuha niya, pinang-start niya rin ng business. So nakatulong. Yun, di ba? Oo, nakatulong. So, yun. A lot of... And hindi, uh, na, hindi na kailangan huminto ng... I, I think may, may anak din siya na papahintuin dapat. Kasi nga, uh, dun sa nangyari. Um, and nakapagpatuloy. Nakapagpatuloy, I think. Mm-hmm. So, Ayan. So, there's a lot this uh, morning versus... Yes. There's a lot of more this morning versus, no? Medyo we, we got over time, but uh, I think it's okay. So, with Dr. Larry, uh, life-changing questions, di ba? And then now with these practical tips, I hope 
everyone can move into action no? despite this pandemic. No? Ayan. So with that, let's close and end into prayer. Gusto mong mag-ikaw naman mag-lead persons of our prayer this morning? Okay. Of course, it's okay. Okay. So, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Lord God, thank you for another session. Uh, a very successful session of life, real estate, and economics made simple. And please bless the audience that they have learned. I, I know they've learned so much and bless them to take action on what they've learned. And bless the sharers also and the the speakers who share their insights, their knowledge to the viewers. And please bless uh, the next uh, the next sessions, the upcoming sessions. And thank you for making this happen. Thank you for connecting people, connect, allowing them to give their time here. Again, we, we do this to praise you, Lord. And thank you. Thank you for everything. Uh, Amen. The Father, the Amen. Amen. And click and subscribe our channel, My Real Estate Maven Online, where life, real estate, and economics made simple. And our tagline for Jesus, that together, because together as a, as family, a family, we can make, we can things, make things happen. happen. Thank you so okay, much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.